everything high in. I put the mozzy. I pop a half a perk. Make it the pot. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Nicky Boy. You already know what time it is. Welcome to the channel. Welcome. And I know why you're here. I know why you're here. You tell about the title. You're here for another story time. But well, guess what? I got another one for you. This is the time when this ain't my first time going to a bar, but it's my first time going to a bar with my closest friend right now. And this recently happened too. But anyways, me and my friend Adam, uh, we went out with our wives and our kids to uh, Dave and Buster's just to hang out, you know, have fun with the kids or whatever. And at this time, it was maybe nine o'clock, something like that. I can't really remember at this time. Um, anyways, it's pretty late for the kids. And after we went to Dave and Buster's, you know, me and Adam, we had plans to go to a bar because there was a band he wanted me to see. So I was like, okay, you know, why not? Why not go? So we get to the bar and immediately it wasn't a big line there was probably maybe like six people ahead of us on top of that and um you know there were some people i was trying to get in there was like matter of fact there was like one guy that literally kind of came in from the side for where we came from we parked our car at and it was like he was trying to get in and the bouncer was like hold up like you know you gotta wait in line and you know list or whatever and the guy was like oh well my girlfriend is in the club or the bar, sorry. And the bouncer was like, well, sorry, but you still gotta wait in line. So he's kind of a little bit huffing and puffing right behind. So he had to go right in the back behind us. And you know, me and Adam, we're just standing there like, man, like we wish we'd came earlier because we were trying to avoid this line and stuff like that. And you know, the guy's talking mess a little bit. And then there's some other people that came from the side as well and behind us and behind him. So uh, I guess eventually, Waiting in line was too long for them. We probably stood there for about maybe a good 10 minutes, I'd say so. And the guy behind us, or maybe the people in front of us, was like, oh, wait, you know, it's like kind of, there was a couple people that was in front of us, and like, oh, yeah, this is taking too long, or whatever. So they started going to another bar in, in town, or not uptown, but somewhere else. And the guy behind us was like, oh, yeah, you know, this is crazy, you know whatever, whatever, I think I'm gonna go follow y'all or whatever, I'm gonna go to this bar because da 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 whatever. And they leave and then, then the guy behind us, he leaves. And I'm thinking to myself, sir, but your girlfriend's in there. So I think he was just blind to get in because obviously you're not gonna leave your girl in the, at a bar and you're gonna go to another bar. Makes no sense. All right. Anyway, so after that guy left, honestly, the bouncer saw those couple leave and then this guy behind us leave. So at this point, you know, there's probably maybe four people ahead of us or whatever. And he was like, you know what? You know, I'm not supposed to do this. So I was going to let y'all in anyways. So we went in the bar, you know, and, you know, we're listening to music a little bit, vibing, and you know, our friend Adam, he's kind of showing me around and where he chills at or whatever. And then when we got to the bar, it was just packed. Like a bartender was over here, he was over there, and we're right here. For a good 20 minutes, maybe, Maybe 30, I don't know. I wasn't keeping track, but we stood there for a good while because there was a couple people here, people over there, over there, and some people way over there, and then we're just standing there like, we're kinda in front of you. I said there was a couple people right here, but they were sitting at the bar. And knowing me and my personality and my friend Adam's personality, we don't wanna just be rude and cut in, but we're just hoping that he can make eye contact with us and say, hey, let me get this or whatever. So we made about a good 20, maybe 30 minutes to get a drink. Oh, man, <laughs> it's like flashbacks already. But um, we finally got our drinks and we had like a peach uh, chrome oil, if I'm right. Something like that. And it was pretty good. And um, while we were uh, listening to music, stuff like that, there was a couple 
every now and then there are some people that he knew. I didn't know nobody, of course, because it's my first time here. And, you know, there was a couple of girls that um, complimented on my shirt. I had a Rugrats shirt. I had a big Rugrats here and I had the characters in the back. And I had a couple say they like my shirt, whatever, whatever, cool. And then I met some people that he knew, whatever, whatever. Anyways, most of the story is that, you know, there's the band is rocking pretty good. You know, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I'm not, I, I like to listen to almost every genre of music, depends who you are or whatever, and what song it is. And man, I'm telling you, there was some people, there was, there was one guy that had like a button up shirt and maybe like a scarf and had like skinny jeans and some cowboy boots. I don't know what, I don't know what he was wearing, but it was like he was some kind of first mate pirate looking ass. I don't even know. But um, he had his date or whatever. And you know, they still like a good couple or whatever, but man, they had to have drinks before us cause they was dancing like, I'm, try, I'm, try, I'm gonna show you an example how they were dancing. This is, this is what I saw at the dance floor, okay? I don't know if I got a good, I don't know if y'all can see it, but they are both circling around each other like this. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like. <laughs> like, do you, do you, Adam, do you see, Adam, do you see this? Like, and we're just, with the drinks, it's like, he killing it. <laughs> so, um, and then on top of that, it was doing some, or he, this guy was kill, not killing it in a killing it good way, but he was just like all over the place. I can't even, I can't even do it. Like, like I'm a dancer. The dance that he was doing, I'm not with that at all, okay? But anyways, obviously they were having a good time and there were some other people. There was girls dancing and some older people dancing and, you know, they're doing their thing. And, um, yeah, it was just interesting to watch. I was like, Okay, this is how certain people dance. Okay, cool. Like that's fun. Whatever. It was, it's just like it's it's like it was like a situation where you watch a movie and you're at a bar or a club and how white people dance and they have like no rhythm or they just dance to anything. It was kind of like that. If you could think of a movie that you're just laughing at that situation, that's what it was. What I saw. Okay. Anyways, this is about maybe midnight or one o'clock around in the morning but around that time it was like the time switched over i wasn't even paying attention to it but anyways <clears throat> fast forward into the night um we were starting to uh get ready to go it was getting late or whatever and um oh <laughs> We finished our drinks and whatnot, and um, we started walking out, leaving out the bar. So we go up to the parking lot where the truck is at, and there was a girl that we saw dancing like crazy or whatever, and she's on the ground, kind of like she fell, but she was on all fours, and there was a friend right beside her, and I think her friend seemed fine because she was talking to us normally. Because we were asking, hey, is everything okay? Everything okay? And she's like, and as soon as she said, as soon as her friend says, yeah, she's okay, the girl on all fours said, Bleh! and I was like, oh, and Adam was like, oh, at the same time. And we we're like, she good? She good? And she was like, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. She's Bleh! And I was like, oh my God. And you know, we're trying to walk to the car, but it's like we couldn't help but watch a little bit, but I'm, I'm trying to leave. And um, we got to the truck and then Adam was like, man, I feel bad. You think we should help her? And I'm sitting here like, nah, nah, I don't wanna mess up my new shirt. <laughs> I did not wanna mess up my new shirt. And on top of that, I didn't know her. We didn't know her like that. Because like I didn't want to, I mean, I didn't want to help, and then somehow she got throw up on me or my hands or whatever. Because I know I was gonna get pissed. I knew I was or aggravated. Like I knew I wasn't. As just, you know, I trusted that her friend was okay, and then some couple of her friends came later while we was leaving. So I was like, you know, she's in good hands or whatever. And you know, me and my friend, me and my friend Adam was talking. And he was like, you know, that could happen 
we had like too much to drink and you know, she probably didn't eat. And I'm sitting here thinking, no, she ate because I saw corn on the ground. I saw corn and it was a little bit of red too. So she had to eat something like, I don't know, but there was, there was corn. Okay. So anyways, that was the night that I witnessed a bar or I went to a bar and somebody threw up in the parking lot. So that was an adventure for me, but at the end of the day, you know, we went back to my friend's house and, you know, me and his wife and him were talking and we were watching the baby a little bit and we just had long conversations and then she, you know, it's three in the morning and I'm like, oh, like I need to get home, but I'm tired because I've been working because that, that Saturday night I worked like 12 hours or whatever and, um, and surprisingly I had, I had a lot of energy too. And um, I was just like, you know, I don't know if I should go home and drive in the dark and I'm halfway tired or whatever. And he was like, you know what, Nick, you can spend the night if you want to. And I was like, you know, let me text the wife. And I'm like, yo, I'll spend the night because it's late, it's three in the morning and blah, 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 blah. But anyways, that's the end of the story. I mean, I hope it was entertaining for you guys because that night was entertaining for me in a weird way so um make sure you guys leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel because more videos are coming hopefully soon and i know they're i'm gonna be working a lot harder i know i am and on that i'm gonna kind of give you some good context about comedy videos dance videos is on the way i'm just cooking up something right now because i got a lot of stuff to work on in my little area right now and then hopefully i have more stories for you so we'll see but um have a blessed day and let go.